or Jenna Fabian, uh, you get to fight Julia Budd this week at the, the upcoming PFL event. Um, it's your third season with the PFL now, and you get to welcome her into this competition. Um, I guess, first of all, what do you make of this matchup you've got ahead of you? I'm excited. Uh, it's straight, we're straight in there. You know, Julia is obviously an established, experienced fighter with a, with a great resume coming from uh, Bellator. So uh, I'm glad that I have her first because it's probably one of the tougher matchups um, out of this first, first uh, card for the lightweight women's. And um, yeah, I'm just ready to go. <laughs> You've been based in the States for almost a year now it seems like you you've been over there for forever and just can't get can't come back home like for for yourself how has this time been and have you had to sort of just commit to being in the states even after sort of restrictions eased because you've got this fight upcoming yeah basically um that's it in a nutshell it's been a fucking shit show of a, a time in terms of uh trying to get back into the country um so I fought last August was my last fight and then I had to stay regardless as I was going to be the alternate for the finals which was uh, in November of last year um so that was always the plan and then at that point um obviously New Zealand had the lockdown still going and then the lockdown of people traveling into the country with the whole quarantine process and the lottery system so uh you know I obviously we knew coming over that I was going to be um in that position like having to try and book a you know win a lottery ticket to get back home um so I was aware of that it was just a matter of not you know knowing when I could get back um then I got I was able to get a lottery ticket in January um and then the Omricon variant broke out <laughs> and uh then all of a sudden everything just shut the fuck down again <laughs> and um and I was unable to get back at that time at, at, at the same time there was um an opportunity for me to have a fight in January at that time, potential opportunity, but uh, which was actually in Canada, but they were just as strict as New Zealand at that point, and um, I I hadn't got my full vaccine at that point, so um, that couldn't happen. But regardless, I still couldn't come home at that time because everything had, you know, they closed the gates again, <laughs> and then. Uh, yeah, the, the dates all of a sudden, uh, February, March, I think it was, uh, reopened again for the New Zealand borders. And, um, and so that was the plan to come back, uh, just after that, that date. Um, but then I had to hold off because I had, uh, my, my renewal of my P1 visa was in process. Um, with the PFL and I couldn't leave until we had got that back and I still hadn't received that at that point and it was just it was just a matter of uh, receiving that um, that confirmation and that renewal and then I was able to come back that took much longer than initially expected that took over a month uh, myself and Eugene and Ash uh, my manager we were going back and forth with PFL um, but it was it was out of their control it was you know uh, border security and immigration that um, that we were waiting on so that prolonged things and then we had to come up you know myself and Huge and the team had uh, made an executive decision um, to stick it out here because I was just getting too close to fight date and I had gotten into a good routine gotten into a good training flow um, uh, at that point in camp and I kind of I was so torn because uh, I really 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 wanted to be home and come home but I weighed up you know myself and you like I said weighed up everything in terms of travel in terms of once I got back to New Zealand I would have to send my visa my passport off to uh, the U.S. Embassy and potentially run into the same issues that BJ 
um, ran into in terms of like I had the, the visas accepted, but they have to officially stamp it because I left America. And then I'd have to, you know, wait until that time. And with things like the government agencies and things not being fully open yet, we kind of, like I said, waited up in terms of was that worth the risk and potentially running into some issues like BJ did where he <laughs> arrived the day of weigh-ins. You know, so um, I didn't want to make that run that risk because that happened to me last year. Um, now I didn't, I, I made it before fight week, but it was like a, a week or 10 days later than they expected me. So I just did not want to deal with any of that hassle this time around. So made the decision to stick it out in America and uh, just just hold tight and, and uh, you know, continue the, the routine and the flow. Um, that I had here throughout this time. That's a, a hell of a hell of a few months for you. Like, how how have you been? Yeah, great. Like in terms of in terms of the training, um, since that last fight um, I had against Kayla in August, I was back in. So I flew back to Colorado after that fight. Um, Friday and then Monday I was in the gym and I just did not I have not taken my foot off the gas and have not stopped training and upskilling and um you know uh, preparing uh since that time so I've had no holiday or break or anything you know a day a couple of days here and there obviously um you know throughout Christmas and stuff but I've stayed on my foot on the gas like that entire time uh and so camp was just an elevation like I had been putting in so much work um prior to that uh and in terms of that like yeah feeling great and feeling um like I'm definitely upskilled and brought in my game uh and more than that though like my mindset and my my mentality and perspective on things um since that last loss you know that was it was a really disappointing uh, result for me uh, as I didn't get to showcase anything. I didn't even get to crack her or hit her. Um, and, but that didn't put me out, like, meaning it didn't dampen my focus or my motivation or spirits at all. Of course, I was disappointed. I sat with it and dealt with it myself. Um, but that it, it sent me um, more into motivation and um I, I use that that to fuel the fire even more so and and it really truly did so uh yeah in terms of uh the preparations and training amazing um in terms of like the uncertainty of coming home not coming home uh, having to manage things um you know arrangements and living arrangements and whatnot um uh, that was a juggle and a bit stressful at times, um, but I was really fortunate to have uh, a lot of great people out here that, um, you know, just assisted me and helped me throughout the time. And, I, and very fortunate to have a lot of the boys as well um, be here at this time. Obviously, Dan was kind of in a similar situation to me. Uh, when he fought here last year and so he was out here and I'm really grateful for Dan and um, his family uh, after I trained in Colorado I, I joined him and Dan uh, sorry Dan and uh, Frankie in Vegas they, they had been based there and um, I just I you know joining them and having that sense of home and keeping each other on and, and training and, and getting in a good routine and flow with them out here uh, in Vegas was just um was yeah amazing like having them there you know just like that touch of home obviously Kai joined us the boys have been back and forth you know obviously Izzy Carlos huge and and all that and throughout that time so those are always like good good uh peps in your step you know having 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 the boys that here throughout this time when I couldn't get home so um yeah it's been great and like I mentioned, um, you know, had some really great people out here uh, in, in Vegas and Colorado that uh, that I knew and, and some that new friends and, and, and 
uh, relationships that I that I developed since my time here and the German stuff. Uh, yeah, so I've been fortunate to to meet some great people and get some great training in, of course, as well. Anyone who follows you on the socials will see that uh, you've been putting in a lot of work with people like Jocelyn Edwards and uh, Norma Dumont recently. Uh, how how did those relationships come around? Was that just a matter of being in the gym and uh, you know clicking with a few people? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like kind of just the natural progression, and um, those girls are amazing. Like, uh, yeah. So I tra- I train. Uh, uh, out of syndicate MMA um, my time in Vegas with John Wood and Mike Pyle amazing coaches um, and and great great guys and they welcome me with open arms and you know fit right into the team and they've got quite a big girls team so people like Laura Sanchez were there who I fought last year in the first round of the PFL uh, and Ramona Kala who's a 145er in the UFC and you know Jojo like a, a whole broad range of girls but uh those, those two in particular, in particular, as well as Avery, um, were like my main kind of girl training partners there um, and did a lot of work with them throughout the off season. And, um, and then uh, with Jocelyn, um, she, a coach that I worked with and trained with and, and, and has helped me a lot as well since my time in Vegas with, with the, the wrestling and things like that, Nate Pettit. Um, that was his student and he said hey come wrestle this girl she's strong she's good she'll be good for you and I rocked up uh to one of his wrestling classes the very next day and we got it in and we 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 were picking each other up and flipping each other and taking each other to the ground I said fuck I like this girl she's (laughs) she gives it to me and and I can give it to her and she's she's a toughie and so um we just bonded from there and then we um arranged some sparring together and, and more and more wrestling and she just became a really good uh solid partner for me and then uh she's from Panama and she doesn't speak a lick of English um but we got really close you know that universal language of um, fighting and whatnot so um yeah developed a really close relationship and bond with her Jocelyn who's um uh, fighting in Singapore coming up and then Norma Dumont um she was training out of uh, syndicate she comes back and forth from Brazil and uh, so she's got her fight uh, this weekend as well, May 7th. Um, and she knew I was there. So the first day, actually, yeah, the first day that I rocked up to Syndicate MMA with uh, Frankie and Dan, she was there. She was like, she was about to head home. We sparred that day. And um, I remember, like we went at it we went at it and I was like okay like who's this chick you know I didn't I didn't realize who she was she was a bigger girl she was just like off a fight so she had you know she was she was sitting a bit heavier then and uh and I was like okay who's this big girl let's go and we went we went one round and I was like fuck I want to get her again so we went another round and uh she remembered me from that time and obviously she um she was coming back for the uh and prep for this next fight of hers and she reached out to uh, one of uh, the guys at Syndicate and said, hey, is Jenna still there? Can, um, can you ask her if she wants to um, uh, train with me this week uh, when I get there? And he reached out and organized it. And I said, yeah, let's go, like, for sure. And, um, and then we just stuck together like glue. So it was uh, the stars aligned. And uh, I was a perfect look and partner for her uh, upcoming opponent and her for me. And so the last, like, three weeks, uh we've been closing out together and just just getting that like good hard work um and looks and um yeah she's she's amazing uh I I really like Norma and again like she doesn't speak a lick of English (laughs) her partner who's also her coach like is kind of our translator he speaks English um pretty well so he's been our translator but again we just we we understand each other that universal language of fighting (laughs) so um it all worked out but yeah she she's yeah like I said the stars align and um she's been great (laughs) in the my last like last little bit of prep I guess uh it's sort of making lemonade out of lemons really with with your situation you know you have all that shit you have to deal with but the plus side is there's probably a higher level of training partner um than you'd get down here like in terms of uh, female training partners 
Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And that's not something that I'm really accustomed to or used to having, especially bigger girls for myself. And uh, um, so it's been a real treat. And um, it's a different feel and look, you know, to training with guys, which I'm used to. Um, like, we really go at it. Girls just, I don't know, we just, I don't know what you call it. We're quite, I don't know, when we go up against each other, it can get quite fiery and uh, very competitive. But uh, I love that. Like, I need to feel that. And, um, and especially with girls like um, Norma and Jocelyn and um, also Ramona, Laura, people that I've been training with um, prior to that. Um, yeah, we, we, we kind of really... Where we were all great friends and hugs and kisses after, but when we go, it's it's on, and then it's like that that feeling and that kind of like anxiety of a fight almost is what that gives you because we we really turn on and switch on when we when we uh, when we touch gloves. So um, I've loved that and I've relished in it and uh, having having yeah like these bigger girls and these you know world class girls um to, to train with daily um has been a really awesome experience for me you mentioned the kayla harrison fight before what did you learn from that fight man it's uh more so than like what developed after just like more of a mentality uh switch and um and a real like uh yeah just being more comfortable within myself and um and my abilities like and and I can say this because I know and my team know but when I get the chance at her again with all due respect she's great at what she does obviously um but I know I can beat that girl I know once I put hands on her and more set and comfortable in my game and my skill set now um and it's definitely broadened but also um, a part of me now where it feels a lot more locked in and cemented I know the result will be different I know I can beat that girl so you know first things first this Friday um you know tough opponent and Julia but the I'll, I want to see her again for sure and um it'll be different so I just I'm just going in I just I just feel I just feel like not a different person just a much more much more cemented much more confident much more um trusting in my own abilities more than anything and I think this time here where I've had to um deal with a lot and navigate and manage a lot has like really uh really brought out a really good side of me so um and and like I said just kind of all just made a lot of things um a lot more a lot more solid <laughs> just lastly um you have eugene coming down who was in vegas for tyson pedro's fight last weekend how nice yep. will it be to link up with him again and i assume have him in in your corner for the fight yeah yeah absolutely so he's um just left LA actually so he'll be here in Dallas uh in, in about two three hours so really looking forward to that like I wasn't able to have Eugen or Doug in my corner um at, for any of the season last year um you know I was really fortunate to have Selby for the first two fights uh but um yeah it was kind of just like a makeshift make do uh situation last year and a lot of shit that I had to like kind of just uh to work out and and things that uh would be on my control and I just had to kind of put aside but it was a tough tough little year last year um for not just myself but a lot of the guys as well um that compete overseas obviously and so to have you uh here for this first one is just yeah it just brings a whole nother energy and um reinforcement and uh and yeah uh, i mean uh um, he's gonna be uh, yeah, a couple of us and he'll join uh, out here and then uh yeah last couple of days till uh till friday sweet well i'll uh, leave it at that uh, thank you very much for the time and hope all goes to plan uh, this weekend thank you very much chris